In today's video, I'm very excited to share with you this five wide passing concept that I think you're going to absolutely love. And it's building off of our levels series that we've been doing on our channel as far as passing goes. So let's jump right into it. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. My channel is all about helping you get better at Madden 21. And so if you are interested, what we're going to do for you guys today is we are going to release our next and latest version of our text message membership videos. What that basically is, is it's where I sit down and I give you a full scheme every single week in our text message membership. All you have to do to sign up for this is just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. We've broken down super, super high level schemes. Most of these videos are longer than most um, websites eBooks are out there where we really dive in and give you a full scheme from start to finish. So I'm really excited because today we are going to be breaking down in our text message membership um, our New England Patriots Y off trips Pats formation, which um, is a very, very good formation. So go ahead, be sure to text in to get that video. But I want to break down a similar formation um, to that or similar concepts. And I want to talk about the shotgun empty hawk. And really, there's a sp very special route. And I've been talking about it a lot on my channel because I think it's just so powerful. And we're going to break down this Hawks slot post. As you see here, it's a Portland concept. We're actually going to turn this into a levels concept um, with a couple of hot routes. But one of the things that I love about it is what the backside route combination we can create. Now, I've been looking for a successful way to run five wide. I think five wide is very underrated this year. I think five wide truly um, might be one of the best ways to go, especially on next gen Madden. And so this play right here is going to be a simple play that is going to consistently get you yardage in uh, in Madden 21. So Hawks slot post, we're going to jump right in here. Now, all we're going to do here is you, if you notice with five wide, one of the things that you're going to have to have a battle plan or a step-by-step -step action plan for is what you're going to do with man-to-man -man press blitz. If they press you, if they send six and they run press man, what are you going to do? What's your strategy? What's your plan, right? Most of the time, uh, people are going to, to not blitz you from five wide because of what you're going to show them what you can do from this from, from a blitzing perspective. One of the things you first have to get an understanding for is this motion right here. You notice that this motion brings this slot receiver in tight. Now, if they press coverage, if I just snap the ball here, what you're going to see is he's still able to get pressed, unfortunately. We're not able to get him, uh, him unbumpable like I'd hope if we motion him to the right. Now, if we motion him to the left, you see he's just going to go in this one little step, and he's not really going to do anything you know, crazy for us. But what we can do is we can simply motion him right in here, and um, we can snap the ball while he's moving um, to effectively try to get a motion snap. So we can try that as well. So if I snap right here, you see I can motion him in, and that's going to basically get him unbumpable. So if, they're, if you're dealing with press man, um, this is a little tra a strategy that you could do uh, to get him unbumpable. Um, the next thing you have to understand is on the back side of the formation. And understanding what your motions can do is very, very important. So another thing you could do is you could create a three-by-one look on the left. And in theory, what we could basically do with this is we could essentially run kind of a double, um, you know, a, a very simple concept here. But I think this is very effective as well from Hawks Hunters. You could do something like this, right? This concept right here, you've got two underneath routes with that drag and that little under route. And the under route is my favorite route in the game. But what you'll notice here with this motion, uh, you basically motion over and it's a nice sharp post route, right? So you can have that in your arsenal as well. So that's another solution that you can use. Um, you'll notice if I motion Taylor to the right, he's just going to take a little little uh, stutter step to the left. And then obviously, let's just take the tight end motion here. Uh, he should go into, you see when he motions over here, he's going to be into a slot. And then if you motion him to the right, uh, what you'll notice here is, let's see, he doesn't move. So he's not going to go anywhere. Uh, Marquez Vadis Stanley, when you motion him left, he's going to go all the way across formation. Devontae Adams, when you motion him to the left here, or to the right, I'm sorry, you see that he's going to stack right behind this player, Lazard. Now, that's actually a critical point because stacked receivers are oftentimes very hard to stop in man to man coverage. And what I would imagine is if this ball was placed on the left side hash, 
meaning to the short side of the field, it does change the placement of the motion. So we're just going to do that just to show you a couple different things with the motions as far as where people can go. What you'll notice is Lazard's still going to come in here, but unfortunately he can still be pressed. Now, do understand that this is from a dime set. If this was a nickel set, what you would notice is only one of these receivers will be pressed. More than likely, Taylor wouldn't be pressed. So if you have running backs subbed in, like if, you, if you're running a, a two wide receiver set or whatever, you can basically turn this into a set that you could then audible to gun empty bunch with. And that, that what that would do is it would force him to get out of the dime because you could then audible down to um, all sorts of different running sets, right? So you have that option. If they're in nickel, they can only press you with two of their players. Or, I'm sorry, not two of their players. They can only press you with their outside corners and their slots. So only three of your players can be pressed. It's going to leave the other two unpressable. They're not going to be able to bump them, which is critical because it's going to be um, it's going to allow you to get them open uh, against man-to-man -man coverage a lot easier. Now, what you'll notice here, if I motion left, you see, unfortunately, it does keep the same stack look. So that's just something that we have to deal with, unfortunately, from this formation. We'll check to the wide side really quick just to make sure. And then we'll talk about the routes that you can use with this uh, with this play. So you'll see here, if you motion over to the left um, and, and they try to bump, you see you're going to get this look. Now, one of the things you can do is create kind of natural picks, natural rubs, put them on a little flat, you know, get a little, you know, natural natural picks, natural rubs against man-to-man -man coverage. With the rise of, and this is part of the reason why 5 wide, I think, is very, very, uh, very much so an option now. Um... With how much people are, like how many receivers have come out, like the new Lance Allworth and all those stuff in Mutt, you have a lot better receivers. And so you're going to be able to deal with man-to-man -man coverage a lot better because they got better route running. They're going to get off the jam. Most people don't press anymore. Um, if they do press coverage you from a man-to-man -man look, like I said, you can just motion Lazard in here, just a little baby motion right here. And um, as you can see, it's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage across. Now, I personally, what I would, what I would recommend – it's simply just motioning him into um, this compression look right here and then letting the letting him set up and go. Um, and you'll see that you'll get some pretty successful um, animations. Now, the key to this play is what is this three wide receiver set on the right side of the field. So let's just say I go to Tampa 2. If they run zone coverage, if they run zone coverage, okay, you can run this simple route combination. Does this look familiar on the right? This is any three by one, right? So this is straight out of the trips tight end, right? The trips tight end that we broke down in our New England ebook. This is where this route combo comes from, right here. And what you'll notice is no matter what zone they're going to do, it's going to draw a lot of attention on that right side of the field, leaving this backside, you know, really uh, wide open. And let's say they run man coverage. Let, let's say they run man coverage, okay? Just to be just to be clear on this, you can low ball, low ball inside and aggressive that curl in the middle of the field. That's why you put him on a curl. And what's really cool is the fact that that curl route truly is not ever going to be pressed. He can't get pressed, so it's 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 automatic, instant, you know, snap. You see man coverage. You can if if basically what you're doing with man really with this play is watching their user. If their user goes to the right at the snap of the ball, then you're going to hit this route to Devontae Adams every single play. And I'm telling you right now, it's literally that simple and you will be able to hit that route every single play against man-to-man -man coverage. There's, there's, n I have very rarely thrown a pick. The only time that I've thrown picks is let's just say my receiver is like a 65 overall. That's it. As long as this receiver has, you know, decent route running, decent whatever, he's going to get open. He's going to get open against man, and he's also going to get open against zone. So on man coverage, really what I'm telling myself is if the user goes to the right, then I'm looking to this left side, and I'm going to read one to two. I'm going to read the in route, and if that doesn't come open, oftentimes this post route will come open. The one thing I want to express to you about the post route, you need route running there. You need route running there. If the, if you don't have route running, it's going to be hard for that thing to come open. And if you if you know, if you smart route the route, it will help it a little bit. Uh, and you see here on the cut. The other thing I would say about this route, in my opinion, if you can get this thing in motion, like just get, a, just get movement with this route to Lazard, 
that will help it as well. So you see here, he gets some movement and uh, wow, uh, didn't work out. But I'm telling you, if you have route running in that position, that will work against man-to-man -man coverage. It's not necessarily necessary to the rest of the play because in my opinion, as long as you have a couple different man beaters on one play, you're good. Now what you'll see on this backside is this route to Mercedes Lewis will consistently work. So if their user jumps to the left side of the formation, if he's and if he sprints out to the left side to try to cover um, that route to Devontae Adams, okay, that's simple. Then we're just going to go right there, low ball, secure catch, and we're going to work it up the field. So you have reads on both sides. Now, just to show you every route on the play, what you'll notice is this route to R1. If I leave this stock um, against man, if it's man press, I don't think he does that great. Again, you need route running. That's the thing. So, like, if you're in mutt, this is not a problem. If you're in regs, you know, it can be somewhat of an issue. But what you'll notice here is this this corner route, if he doesn't get pressed, he's going to get open every single time. If he does get pressed, um, he you see how they kind, of, they kind of bag it. So, you have to understand, that's why I stress out. Like, when I'm building a five-wide scheme, the first thing that I ask myself is, can this be successful against press man-to-man -man coverage with the blitz? Because that's what people are going to do. That's what I would do against five wide. Okay. So the next thing I want to do though is I want to show you, and this is really where five wide I think is so powerful. Zone coverage does absolutely. There is no zone in the game that will stop this play. There is zero zone in the game. Uh, I promise you, there will they will they will not be able to stop this play because everything you're doing on the right side of the field torches zone. The same thing is on the back side here. They're going to have to put so much energy into stopping Devontae Adams, it's not even funny. Let me show you cover three shaded down. Watch what's going to happen here. Devontae Adams is still open. He's still open. So what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to literally go to cover three. They're going to have to play that little hard. they got to have a hard flat. Absolutely have to have a hard flat. If you don't have a hard flat, it's a snap throw. Then they're going to drop a vert hook. Then we're going to drop a spy. And then, you know what, for good measure, um, we're going to drop a three rack. And then what we might try to do here, and I can't do it because he's a slot. Let's just man him up just for good measure, just to show literally how I just think this is such a tough route on that left side. Look at all the resources that the, the defense has had to devote to stopping it. And watch right here. Low ball. Low ball. And I, and I almost caught it against five people. What the defense is going to have to do is they're going to have to have a hook zone on both sides of the middle of the field, okay? They're going to have to have shaded coverage down at five yards. they got to have it at five. They're yellow. It's at five. And they're going to have to absolutely have a hard flat on that left side of the field. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I want to set my zone drops just to dive deep into this. Now, of course, on the backside, you're, we'll get into the backside stuff in just a minute. I just want to talk about this play side concept. Because I truly believe this is like such a such a key uh, concept. So let's just put these on five yards, and I just want to show you what's going to happen. Now, I five yards might not even be enough. That's how good this is. Five yards might not even be enough for zone. You saw what it can do against man. It's actually relatively simple. The route just beats man because it's that 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 special under route, right? It's that special under route. So now what you'll see is this is cover two. The hooks are at five yards, right? Watch what happens here. See how they sit? But see how there's multiple windows at which you can throw the ball in that? That's what I'm talking about when I say they're going to need multiple hook zones. That's what I mean. So you're going to need something like like this, right? This this is this is more realistic of what you're going to need to stop just a simple, you know, levels concept, really. And you'll see even at five yards, you see how he gets – see how Devontae Adams gets underneath it? It's 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 subtle. It's, it's really, really subtle in my opinion, but what you'll notice here, and again, I understand, you know, you know, how, how, how big of a deal is giving up two yards on a pass. I just want to show you the consistency at which you can throw this. Okay. So let's say you read it. Okay. They're doing this right here. He comes across right there and look, I can get a feel for a yard or two, but in general, let's just say they try to stop it with five yard hooks. The bottom line truth is they really need zero yard hooks. But um, we won't go that far, okay? 
what I want to show you then is what happens on this back side, and that's what really, in, in, in my opinion, is really powerful. You see how both, see how the middle field is now wide open? I can hit the post on the left side, okay? I can I can take, you know, anything the defense gives me here. You look at the back side here, take a look at this. Look how, you see, did you notice how because of the under route, because of the under route on the left side, that vert hook will normally, will normally that vert, vert hook, will play the the hitch what you'll notice from this formation he won't look how he drifts inside look how he drifts inside i can throw that for an easy five yards now that's not even counting the fact that if you take a look at the tight end he's wide open right all you, you just want to make sure to high point this and secure catch and you see he's going to get that nice animation so they really, like this five yards, right? You would think that would stop it, but it really doesn't. And now what I want to do is I want to show you this is five yards shaded down, just even more intense. And take a look at this right side guy. You see how the hook curl will stop it? You see how the hook curl will stop it, but the vert hook won't? On that, on that that's cover three, and cover three comes with hook curls, meaning they're going to put a, a little bit more of an emphasis on the curl route, right? But because of this, what you're noticing is now um, this opens up another window to throw that route right there for an easy three to five yards. One of those two routes are going to be open. And the thing that is really powerful to me about the whole play is you can't cover it all. In zone, you truly can't. Uh, what they're going to have to do is they're probably going to have to uh, man up the, the post, user the tight end. You know, they're going to have to bring a lot of stuff down to be able to defend this, even in man coverage, even in zone coverage. It, it, it doesn't matter, okay? It, it really doesn't. And, and really what I love about this, and this is such a, I mean, I'll tell you, I, when, when I tell you this is like the simplest play, it really is so simple. Uh, but you'll see like cover four, they're going to match. Take a look at this route on the right. Doesn't stop it. Doesn't stop that hitch. Partially because of the five wide, partially because of the spacing, but really more than anything, honestly, because of what's happening on the back side of the formation. The only thing they can do is they can go to cover three. They're going to have to use her between that post and that curl. And that's why you want to identify quick at the snap. Is the user taking the right side or the left side? That's what you got to figure out. If the user's taking the right side, work your level side on the back side. And real quick, I just want to show you. these are. This is um, what I'm doing right in here is I'm running shaded coverage down. I've got yellows on this back side. But, but essentially what we're going to do, just because I want to show this, we're not going to have a hard flat. We're not going to have a hard flat, okay? And what I want you to watch is I want you to watch Devontae Adams right there. You see that there is a window at the snap of the ball. Now, again, if they sit down like that, it's not as much there. Um, if they're doing zone drops like this, like I, like I am right now, the route's not really there. But what I want you to see is I want you to see there is a tight window right there, and it's tight, but you can, and again, that might be too risky for you guys or whatever, but what you'll notice is this thing this thing is possible. Now, right there, you see where we get he does get the pick, but and part of that's because of where we're at on the field um, because we're on the short side of the field. Now, if we were on the wide side of the field, this is going to play a little bit differently, and you're going to have a little bit more space, and you're going to be able to hit this route um, <coughs> Excuse me, to – to Devontae Adams. So here, now I have more space. I can get that out there. And because I have more space, if he sits on that like that, okay, no problem. What we'll do is we'll just wait for him to cross. Um, and let me show you what that looks like. So here, wait, and he crosses right there, and I can hit that. Now, again, you want to take – obviously, you're going to take the post route. Now, what most people are going to do, though, and this is, this is true of, of me as well, what most people are going to do is they're going to put that middle linebacker in the middle third because they think, okay, well, I've got the vert hook on both sides to be able to take away those underneath routes, right? That's what most people would do. But what you'll notice is this is an under route. It's going to cross right in front of it and take 5, 10 yards. So when I say it's going to take a lot to stop that, that left side, I really mean it's going to take a lot to stop that left side. Um, there's not a cookie cutter like do this and it's going to stop it. They're going to need a lot of user. You'll notice that on the short side, I actually think this route combination on the right side works a little bit better on the short side. You'll see like cover three. This is cover three shaded down. Uh, we got the yellow out there to be able to handle that vert or that little hitch. And what you'll notice here is he doesn't go get it. He doesn't go handle it out of cover three. Let me show you out of cover two really quickly. This is a vertical hook now. 
And I just want to show you, and again, this is shaded coverage. These are shaded down um, curls or hooks. And uh, what you'll notice here is you've got your wide receiver out here. You can take your five yards, free five yards, because they're playing cloud flats, right? Now, if they're playing cover two and they're shading down, that's going to give them a little bit of a advantage on these underneath routes. But what you'll notice here um, is your curl route standing wide open and back in. Okay. So, you know, depending on, on where the down and distance and all that stuff in the spacing of the field, when you run this as a general rule to the short side of the field, uh, cover two is going to do a little bit better to the wide side. I'm sorry, for the three by one, for the three receiver side, if that's cover three over there, then cover three is going to do better if you run it to the short side. If it's cover two, you'd rather run cover two to the wide side. But what you'll see here, this cover four drop, you see the hook curl does nothing, and you're able to move forward. So, I mean, I think this is a, I think this is a very powerful scheme. Um, I, I think this, I think this formation is really good. Uh, we're going to be sharing with you guys some things to do off of this as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, we upload four videos a day on YouTube, one at two o'clock, one at four o'clock, one at six o'clock and one at eight o'clock PM Eastern time. So this is just the first play, um, in this five wide that I want to share with you today. I think the Seahawks five wide is really, really effective. Um, I think it's very unique because it's got a couple of really, um, I just think this route on the left side is so good. I, I really do. And it's tough to stop. Uh, you'll see here, cover three doesn't really, I mean, cover three kind of gets out there okay, but these are zone drops. These are forcing people to spot drop yellows. Nobody wants to spot drop a yellow zone because then what that's going to mean is I can throw these routes on the left, the right side all day long. And that's why you put them two and two together and you have that post right over the middle of the field. So wherever they use her, they're wrong, basically within this formation. So um, that's a little bit about this play. We're going to talk a little bit more about what to do next in our next formation breakdown uh, later today. We're going to talk a little bit about how to beat man from this, how to beat the blitz from this, how to beat. But this is, in my opinion, probably the best zone beater in the game, at least um, at least from a simplicity standpoint. It's easiest to learn. It's it's very uh, user-friendly. I would encourage you to try this out. The CX playbook is the only 5Y that I have found that has these little under routes. And I think those I think those under routes are so, so valuable. So thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. But also make sure to text me because we are releasing our full uh, sample formation to our New England ebook. We just released a New England guide. It's got over 300 pages in it. It's amazing, right? A lot of great reviews. People have been doing really good. A lot of good results in Weekend League this weekend with that ebook. But here's what I want to tell you. Today, we are going to be releasing a sample, another sample formation for it. We're going to be releasing the Gun Y Off Trips. We're going to release kind of part of it. We're not going to release the whole thing, but we're going to release kind of the nuts and bolts of it, the core the structures, how it works together, and going over that. That formation breakdown, I'm excited for. It's going to be, um, I think it'll be at least an hour. Um, so text me if you want to get that video. My number is 812-216-3644. Thank you for your time. We'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel.